In this video, we're going to have a look at the chord of contact from an exterior point of a parabola. So, what do we mean by the chord of contact? Well, let's suppose that we have a point t, given by x0, y0. Now, from this point, we can draw two tangents to the parabola as such. And of course, the tangent meets the parabola at exactly one point. So, for the first tangent, it meets it at point p, which can be given by these parametric coordinates. And similarly, for Q, given by these parametric coordinates. Now, the chord of contact is the chord which joins these two points, P and Q. Now, I want to find the equation of this chord of contact. So, you'd, you'd think that, well, I just find the equation of the chord PQ. But not really. The chord of contact is defined by this exterior point. So, I want to find the equation of that chord of contact in terms of x0 and y0. So to do, to do that, we are going to first recall a few things that we've already proven in previous videos. So the equation of the chord, equation of chord PQ, was given by the following. y equals 1 half p plus q x minus apq. Now, the tangent at P is given by Y equals PX minus AP squared. And similarly, at Q, it's given by Y equals QX minus AQ squared. All right, now, if I wanted to find the coordinates of the point T, how would I do that? Forgetting this x0, y0 business, if I just wanted to find the coordinates of t, well, t is the point in which these two tangents intersect. So I'm going to solve these two simultaneously. So I'll call this 1, call this 2, and set 1 equal to 2. Or substituting 1 into 2, rather, that's the better way to say it. So that's going to give me px minus ap squared equals qx minus aq squared. I'll bring this over here and bring that over here. So Px minus Qx equals Ap squared minus Aq squared. Now I'll factorize both sides. I'll have P minus Qx equals A, and then I'll have P squared minus Q squared, which I can factorize as P minus Q multiplied by P plus Q. Okay, I can cancel these two terms here. And so therefore, x is equal to a into p plus q. So that's the x-coordinate of the point t. Now I want to find the y-coordinate of the point t. So I substitute this back into either of these equations. It will give me the same answer. So let's just say I'm substituting it back into 1. x equals a into p plus q. Subbing that into 1 gives me y equals p times x, which is this. So a p plus q minus ap squared. Expanding this out gives me ap squared plus apq minus apq, sorry, ap squared. And here I can cancel these two terms, and I'm left with apq. So therefore, my point t is given by the x-coordinate, which is a into p plus q, and y, which is apq. But what's that equal to? Well, that's equal to x0, y0. So that's x0, y0. Or in other words, I have this expression, or these two equations. x0 is equal to a times p plus q, and y0 is equal to apq. So, once again, what am I trying to find? I'm trying to find the equation of this chord defined by this point t. Now I have the equation of the chord pq when it's not defined by the point t, just any equation of a chord pq. So this is the condition where it's defined by the point t. So I'm going to use these and substitute these back into the, the equation of the chord here. So let's call this, okay, 3 and 4. Alright, so I want to substitute 3 and 4 
back into the equation of a chord PQ, and I'm going to call that star, star because it's the important part. So, if I was to, okay, first before I call this 3, maybe I should divide by A. And the reason I'm going to divide by A is because I can see a P plus Q, but it doesn't have the A. And here, if I divide by A, then I'll have that P plus Q. So, perhaps I'll call this equation 3. Okay, substituting back in. So, where are we? Substituting in here, I have Y equals a half. Now, P plus Q is X0 divided by A, multiplied by X, minus APQ. Well, APQ is precisely Y0, so that's convenient. I have Y0. Moving this over, I have Y plus Y0 equals X0 multiplied by X divided by 2A, and then just multiplying everything by 2A, and I'm left with X0 times X equals 2a into y plus y0. And this is known as the equation of the chord of contact.